Right, welcome back to my, to my channel and uh, today rather than just talking about, uh, about my trip I would like to make a review about my adventure boots. So first and foremost I would like to make it very clear that this pair of boots was um, purchased by my own money so it's not a sponsor and uh, I just I wanted to give uh, a review about it because uh, Unfortunately, there is something that I don't like, but there are obviously many things that I like. So, let me start. This is my CD Adventure Boots. Okay. Um, now I've had it for the last uh, three and a half years, I think. Definitely, they are solid boots. Um, quite heavy, I would say, you know. Um, this is like uh, almost an enduro boot. Um, uh, well, there are a lot of uh, safety features, you know, and a uh, lot of protection around it, you know, starting at the heel, you know, this uh, plastic mold here is definitely very firm, okay, from the side, so it won't let your ankle twist, so that prevents some uh, sprains, definitely. So the toe box, okay, here is very rigid, you know, the buckets are great, the sole is good, you know, so as you can see, um, I didn't use it extensively, honestly, you know, though I had it for the last uh, three and a half years or more, I don't know, um, but I didn't use it quite much, so as you can see, the sole is not really consumed. Um, however, there is something that uh, I would like to really talk about, it is basically about its impermeability. So unfortunately, though, though the, these boots are being claimed as waterproof, because they, um, uh, they come with a Gore-Tex lining, they are far from, uh, from uh, waterproof, you know? so they leak water unfortunately. And the downside of leaking water, then it takes a very long time to dry up due to, its, due to this membrane. So I don't know why water is leaking, but it's leaking from both boots. So it's not just from, from one. Um, and usually it's on the front part. So, you know, it leaks mainly from here because it is where it takes more, more water. Um, uh, so I would expect the water come from top, especially uh, if you're not wearing uh, a waterproof pants, you know, but uh, it's something it's annoying, you know, so um, especially if you have to ride the day after, you, st you still have your feet wet. So, yes, I have brought this to the attention of the local dealer in my country. Um, which he tried to settle with the company abroad and they asked for the receipt so the receipt I didn't have it so it's still a matter of not the receipt I mean if you look at the status of the of, of the boots at the moment you know um, they are still in a very good condition so I don't expect this to happen and it wouldn't be happening even after after years of use and abuse you know so there are people who um, vouch by, by the quality of these boots and of other brands. So, you know, it, it happened only to me. So anyway, um, I am in Africa at the moment, so I'm touring, as you may know, um, and it happened to be the rainy season. So here it rains every day, it's raining also at the, at the moment, so it's been raining since early morning, so the hours of non-stop raining. So, especially if you're riding in some roads here, it's all puddle mud, and you want the boots that, that function properly. You don't want water to come into your boots, right? So anyway, I wrote to the company abroad, so I sent both an email and a message on Facebook. Yeah, and unfortunately, CD didn't reply. So they are not taking my, 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 
my concern seriously, you know. So, though these are very good pair of boots, and uh, they function very well in terms of safety, unfortunately I cannot recommend them for their impermeability, and also I cannot recommend CD for their, for their seriousness. You know, so I would expect it a, at least an answer, you know, not nothing. So, yeah, basically that's what I wanted to say about this pair of boots. I know that many people out there are enjoying them, and honestly I do as well, you know, I feel very, very safe uh, wearing these boots, apart from being on the heavy side and also, you know, uh, the squeaky sound they make every single time you take a step. Um, but again, I wanted the boots to be waterproof, and that's why I spent so much money in, in a good pair of boots, because I wanted to function in, in all its aspects. Right. Anyway, um, just keep following my trip and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.